G'day. Today we're going to have a quick look at a caravan washing machine. Whether you're off grid or at a caravan park, this is something that you can use for the inevitable laundry that we still have to do even while we're out and enjoying the best that Australia has to offer. So here it is. This is an eBay special that I picked up for 80 bucks. Uh, just to demonstrate the concept. I didn't want to go out and spend hundreds of dollars buying one of the top end ones, uh, just to give you an idea of what they're like. So you can see here, it's a three kilo portable washing machine. Probably weighs five to six kilos. And in theory, three kilo capacity. Having a quick look at the stats on the back, runs off 240, so you do have to plug it in. You'll need an inverter or to be connected to shore power if you're going to use this. If you have a quick look, you can see it's got the tub, the lid, and some pretty simple controls. On this side is just the timer, and on this side is your selector for the mode, whether that's wash or spin. Inside, fancy, comes with instructions. It's uh, an $80 cheapie off eBay, but uh, the instructions actually aren't too bad, so somebody's translated those pretty well. There's a lid for the spin basket. A hose. In theory, you can actually connect these to your water supply and have this permanently plumbed in to your caravan. Uh, in practice, this hose is pretty cheap, so if you are gonna go down that particular route, I'd recommend getting a, uh, a higher quality hose. And then it's got a spin basket, which you can see is not particularly big. Then right inside, at the bottom of the machine, you can see the agitator. That's in a nutshell. If you wanna have a quick look at the back, you can see it does have a handle. So in theory, very portable. Um, and last but not least, Got to connect to 240. What I'm going to do now is give it a, a quick demo, show you how much water it uses and how long it takes. Pop these out of the way. So for the demo, I've got here effectively one load of washing for a couple of grown-ups. So my wife and I, uh, t-shirt, shorts, undies for, uh, for both of us. And as you can see, throw them in there and they fit pretty well. You could probably fit a little bit more. It does say a three kilo uh, capacity. In this case, we're just gonna throw that in and see how we go and we'll see how much water we use. For the water, I've got here a 10 litre jerry. That'll give us an idea of how much we're putting in and how much we need to wash and to rinse. Before I do that, of course, thank you for everybody screaming out at home. We'll throw in some lemon laundry powder. Fantastic. Much better than that lime stuff. Don't let anybody tell you different. So you want to make sure that the clothes are good and floating, obviously absolutely saturated and preferably off the bottom. So that's taken about 10 litres. Having a look at that, they're nice and loose. I think that'll be as much as we need, but it's probably the bare minimum for two shirts, two pairs of shorts, uh, bra, undies. That's absolutely the bare minimum that you'd want to use. All right, to set it up, pretty simple. Turn the machine to wash and we'll set the timer. Before we do, make sure that your drain hose 
is going to be above the level of the water so it doesn't all tip out down the side. And away we go. Um, this is really, this table's quite rickety and you'll see it's going to move around a fair bit. There's no balancer, so we'll see how she goes. So hopefully you can see there that it does a, a pretty good job agitating inside the water. As I said before, that's probably the bare minimum amount of water for, uh, for what is a fairly small load. Uh, and you'd probably find yourself using about 15 litres if you had any more than that. Uh, as it is, I'm going to finish this one now and then we'll come back once the wash is done and have a look at the rinse. So the clothes are washed. Uh, during the, during that, uh, that break, I actually threw in another three litres of water. Uh, there just wasn't enough for it to be a decent wash and I wanted to make sure the clothes are actually clean at the end of this. So uh, we ended up using about 13 litres of water and it probably took around about 10 to 12 minutes to get all of that washed. Now we need to drain it, refill, and we'll go through and rinse all the detergent off. So draining's pretty simple. Make sure it's up higher than what you want to drain it into. Bring your bucket up. Unhook the hose. And away you go. And that's that. Now obviously it's time for the rinse. And this is exactly the same as the wash, except without the detergent. A little jerry here, and it should take about the same amount of water. So that's probably been a little bit over 10 litres. And now, again, set it on the wash setting. Start the spin, start the timer rather. And we'll see how she goes. I'll let this do its bit and then we'll come back for the spin. Okay, so we've done the rinse. Now it's time to spin these clothes out. As you can see, we're on the floor to give this thing a bit of stability. As good as the $5 Kmart table is, it, uh, it tends to rock itself a bit when we're doing the spin cycle. So I've just got it on the floor so it's nice and steady. For the spin, you can see here the clothes are absolutely sopping wet. So grab those out. Grab your spin basket and it just locks into place in the agitator there. There we go. Throw in, the spin basket doesn't take as much clothes as the, uh, as the wash cycle does. So in this case, I'm gonna throw in about half of what was in there the first time. Place the lid on top, stop it spinning out of the top. And then as for last time, set the appropriate cycle, in this case spin, and start the timer. I'll spin these ones up and then uh, we'll come back and see how much water we get. As you'll see, it'll spin a fair bit. Uh, if you've balanced the load okay uh, and you don't try to overweight uh, and overload the, uh, the spin basket, 
It'll do a pretty good job. I think if you fix it into a caravan, it'd be even better. Um, I'll give this one a spin and show you how it goes, and then we'll come back once the entire thing has been spun dry. As you can see there, you'd probably have to fix it in into a caravan for this really to work. And if you're doing this off grid or on a table, uh, you're really gonna have to hold onto it the whole time. So that's what I'll be doing. So we spun the clothes out and now they're pretty much the same as if you pulled them out of your washing machine at home. So those will be good to line dry and it shouldn't take too long. In terms of how much water we got out, I'd say probably a couple of litres, uh, maybe a litre and a half. Too. So the spin does a pretty good job if somebody's holding onto it or you've got it fixed into the caravan itself. So overall, would I buy this? Would I buy it again? Would I buy it for anything other than a review? Um, no, probably not. Uh, to be honest, if you compare it to some of the other options that are out there, this is probably not the go for us. If you could fix it into your caravan, uh, connect it to permanent shore power, uh, or you've got a decent inverter, and water isn't a problem, I think, yeah, it'd probably be pretty good. And that way you could just set and forget and uh, go about your business while you're doing your washing. For us though, um, everything that we run is out of a tank, so we need to be careful of how much water that we are using. Uh, I've only got a 500 watt inverter, uh, which is okay for this. It only pulls 240 watts, so it's not gonna overload the inverter. Um, but ultimately, if I don't need to use power, I don't want to. Um, and I don't want to use 15, 25, maybe up to 30 litres per wash when I can get away with the scrubber bag or with the eco spin where I'm using a maximum of about 20. Um, it's an $80 job. Uh, I'm sure that if you're spending upwards of a couple of hundred bucks, uh, you're not going to have the same issues with the spinning. Um, it's probably going to come fixed into your van and no doubt it's going to save you a bunch of trouble. So if you've got all the mod cons and you're good to go, uh, I think that the automatic washing machine is a great way to be doing a household chore while you're out and camping and take your mind off that. For us though, uh, the $80 eBay cheapie is not gonna be the one that we throw in the van. We'll keep the eco spin and the scrubber bag and we'll use those instead. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. We are gonna do a comparison of this, the Eco Spin and the Scrubber Bag to give you an idea of some of your options while you are out caravanning and camping and how you can keep the unfortunate but necessary chore of laundry going. That's it for now. Thanks very much and uh, we'll see you out on the trails. Cheers.